You cannot really make a mistake. The mistakes that we experience in art are a kind of illusion. They're a category of actions and judgments that we apply some labels and viewpoints to that aren't real in some deeper sense. You cannot make a mistake. There is nothing to be vexed by when something goes wrong in a picture. When we react very strongly to so-called mistakes, there is a sort of tacit implication that what went wrong shouldn't have gone wrong. This is impossible. Any mistake that you make is the rightful consequence of your training, your discipline, your habits, your mind state at the moment, how focused you were, how focused you weren't, whether you had any distractions, your energy level. Had you gotten some exercise before your drawing session? Did you eat a good breakfast? You hung over from the night before? All of these things are the conditioning factors for what you experience as and label a mistake. But that is just an emergent layer, an extra process that we run on just things that are happening. It's not a problem to think of these things as mistakes as long as you don't take it very seriously. Like everything that goes on in art, as long as you carry it lightly, you can do whatever and think however you want. It's just not a big deal. The problem is that many artists take these things extremely seriously. They don't know how to carry it lightly. For them, it might be important to, on occasion, remind themselves that nothing is going wrong here, that their mistakes are illusions, and that they mean nothing about them. Every mistake is delivered right on time, in just the right way, and was exactly the package that you needed to receive at that moment. You could not rewind the universe with you in it and get to the point before the mistake and press play on the universe and do it differently. The mistake would repeat. The only way to change the mistake would be to undo the whole cosmos. Now, none of this is to say that you shouldn't change the things that you interpret as mistakes. But that's all you should do. You shouldn't linger on them. You shouldn't let yourself believe that the mistakes mean anything. Just register that little energetic pulse that says, that was a mistake. That is to say, that was not what I intended, or that could look better. And just move on to the change. Just make the change. In the process of making a picture, mistakes, changes included, is just a smooth gradient of improvement towards finish. If your mind is already doing some mental gymnastics to try to figure out why your mistakes are special, 
Maybe other people's mistakes don't matter, but yours do. Yours do mean something about you or whether or not you've been practicing enough or that art really isn't for you or there's been too many or too little improvement over too many years. All you're doing is suffering a fool in your head. You're just sitting down to a long lunch with the most boring person in your life. You are taking the advice of an idiot who you know better than. You know you are more wise than that. Believe and live by your own better advice. It can be difficult, but it is necessary. There is no such thing as mistakes. Mistakes as we commonly think of them require a subtle, barely spoken belief that if we could go back, things could have been different and we should have done them differently. And that it is a moral failing of some sort that we did not. All of these things, these pillars of what makes a mistake feel like what it is, are illusions. Now, illusions are very powerful. We are artists. We deal in illusions every day. It doesn't mean that we need to dispel them or that there are not useful things within these illusions. But remembering that they are unreal allows us to carry them lightly instead of taking them seriously. Now, taking them seriously would be a real mistake. If you have trouble holding this stance, you can try a little mantra that has helped me a lot lately. I definitely have a tendency to habitually berate myself for mistakes. So, if I make one and lose the plot and find that I am caught up in it, I say to myself, it won't be my last. That personal sting that comes with mistakes often relies on this feeling that we shouldn't have made a mistake and that ideally in the future we would never make one again. When you say it out loud like that, it is revealed that that is obviously ridiculous. Remembering that there will be another mistake very soon tends to take a lot of the energy out of the one that you're currently dealing with. So draw happily. Make changes when necessary. And don't worry about mistakes. <laughs>